Well, good evening, my Facebook family. This is. We're live, we're building an audience for you. Alright, we're gonna give it a couple seconds to get some people on. We're gonna give it a couple of seconds. Just building up the audience. Hey, hey Vincent. Josh. Hey, Vincent. Hey, Josh. Vincent. Josh. Sissy. Hey, your cuz. I see you, Josh. <laughs> hey, Charlotte. All right, House of Hayes. <laughs> all right. You all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cuz, what's going on? Hi, sister. We got David Brown with us. Tori. We got Tori hey, with Tori. us. Hey, Tori. Hey, Tori. Hi, Dad. I'm going to give it about another minute and we're going to go ahead and, All and right. let you guys in on what we're going to be doing. All the way from the West Coast in the house. Hi, sister. Hi, April. Hey, girl. Well, we're excited to have you on our Facebook Live broadcast. And I tell you, it's going to be a phenomenal evening. Um, many people so many people have been asking, so what are you guys going to be doing? What are you guys going to be sharing? What are you guys going to be talking about? And for most of you that don't know, uh, we've been married uh, 19 years. Uh, next month, March the 14th. And... Through that experience, we've, we've gained a lot of knowledge and insight as it relates to the blended family. One of the things we've noticed uh, is that there aren't many uh, things out there to really minister to the blended family. And a lot of trial and error that, trial and error that we've gained over the years, the knowledge, uh, the information, the understanding, and the revelation that we gained over the years, we just wanted to share it with our Facebook family and, and prayerfully uh, impact your lives and and help you gain the, the insight on how to take this thing to another level. <laughs> and so uh, we're going to be coming um, from The Blender. That's the name of our ministry in The Blender. Uh, it's simply about, about the blended family. Um, and one thing that we've learned is that in 2007, there's a lot of blended families. Uh, the unfortunate thing is there are a lot of people that are coming to uh, this union, uh, bringing two families together and really have no understanding on how to be successful. Again, we've been married 19 years. Uh, neither one of us has gone to jail. <laughs> neither one of us has been arrested. Uh, We've enjoyed each other. We've been best friends ever since day one. Um, there have been times when I didn't like her and she didn't like me. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> but we've endured hardship as good soldiers. And and I tell you, it's just been an awesome thing to share with all of you our, our struggles, our triumphs, our victories as well as some insight and some understanding on how to just navigate this blended family thing. And so, again, my name is Brandon, and this is my beautiful wife, Madeline, of 19 years and 28 days. I tell you, she need to pay me for staying with her because it's been a real, yes, she need to pay me for staying with her because it's been a real, uh, it's been real special. <laughs> it's been real special. No, 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 no. I need to pay her for staying with me. 
because uh, many of you guys that know me uh, know that I'm a piece of work. And so she just stuck her hand out uh, for me to pay her. Oh, that's a receipt, so she don't want that. Um, let me see what I got for her. You can pay me later. Nah, I'm going to pay you. A dollar? That's her dollar. That's her payment. <laughs> okay. I'll put the 50 over here. She'll get that later. Yeah, but uh, so we're so glad to have you all. Hey, Christy, how you doing, Ron? How's everything? Um, <laughs> yeah, so again, we're going to be talking about the blended. We're talking about blended families. Uh, we have a lot of family and friends that's on here right now. And um, they know, they've seen just the, the growth, the progression, uh, the anointing that has been on our marriage. Uh, many people didn't believe that we would make it 60 days. And here we are, 19 years, uh, loving each other stronger than we've ever loved each other. Um, she, she's been my number one fan, my number one cheerleader. Um, I wouldn't be half the man, a third of the man. Matter of fact, I wouldn't be a quarter of the man I am today if it wasn't for all that she's done, how she supported me, how she uplifted me, how she just pushed me. Hey, JoJo. And so, uh, he already did to, it, Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted to share with you guys, uh, again, the tools that we've used over the years to make this thing work. Uh, many of you were out and heard a little bit of our testimony, uh, how we even dealt with the exes. We're going to be talking about how to deal with exes. Uh, we're going to be talking about, um, things such as, uh, dealing with your exes and, uh, how to overcome the struggles and the things you learned while you were growing up. A lot of times we found out that the reason why the blended family doesn't work is because there are too many dynamics that we don't address when we come into it. Uh, I've been fortunate to, uh, in my life, have two awesome men uh, that have trained me and have given me insight as it relates to the blended family. Uh, one is my uncle James Wade, who I love dearly, and the other is my uncle Richard Smith, who passed away a couple of years ago. Uh, these were two men that took on families and, uh, I mean, like, raised the children as if they were their very own. And and it was so impactful because I remember when I, when I first met my wife, actually before I first met my wife, I always told myself that I would never uh, get into a relationship or even marry a woman with children. And so when I met my wife, I knew that she was the one. The only problem was she had children. So, and so, so tell them for okay, so when we got married though, I had three daughters and you had a son. My daughters at the time when we met was 10, 13, and 16. So that was, you know, kind of challenging, but I did have three daughters and he had a son when we came together. Yeah, so you know, we we had a real blended family. <laughs> and um, you know, like I was saying, um, these men really kind of laid the foundation for me. Um, I spent a lot of time in both of their presence growing up. And I, I can't recall once ever seeing them not love uh, their other children as if they were their own. They never called them step. And so when we got together and we got married, my daughters became my daughters. Uh, anybody know me? Uh, they've never heard me call my daughters stepdaughters. Uh, I, I really don't know what that means because I don't have a stepwife. And so how can I have stepchildren if I have if I don't have a stepwife? And so when I had them on, when we when we brought them when we brought the families together, it really just became a family. And so I just wanted to just shout out uh both of my uncles uh for being great examples uh how how to love, uh how to love unconditionally. Um how to love as if it's your own. And, and it's awesome because it's the same way it is with us and God. Wouldn't you agree, babe? Yes. I mean, he never called us stepchildren. Uh, we are his. And so that's the kind of love that I wanted to project with my family. And so through these years, we've just gained such insight and knowledge. And we, we're we going to be coming to you guys every Tuesday about 730 with some just tidbits and some pointers on how to be successful in your blended family. Again, we've noticed over the years that there, 
there aren't many books, um, definitely aren't many seminars and, and things that set up to really show us how to be successful in this blended family. And so we always told our, excuse me, we always told ourselves that uh, we were going to be that tool to bless not only the body of Christ, but the world at large. And so we want to thank you all for joining in. Hey, Adam, what's up, Kev? Uh Before you go, Doug, tell them, like, as far as, like, your parents, your parents been married for 44 years. So you came, you came from um, a family where marriage was, like, a foundation. They stayed together through, I'm sure, all types of things. Um, but for me, my um, background was a little bit different. I, my dad was married and divorced three times. And my mother was um, a divorcee twice and remarried on a third time. So when we got together, um, I didn't want to be one that, um, you know, was married two, three times. However, you know, both of us were married before. Exactly. So this is our, you know, second time around. But thank God that we were able to um, overcome a lot of the obstacles that, you know, we dealt with and wanted to stick it out. Um, I didn't see that growing up, and you did. So it was it was tough for me in the beginning, but, you know, to God be all the glory, we, we're still here and standing strong. And I just know that it's time for us to just tell the world how to um, just be steadfast, regardless of the type of obstacles hey, that Pastor come Bell, up. Hey, Pastor how you doing, sir? Hey, Pastor Bell. <laughs> Um, so this is just something that, that God has, um, you know, put on our heart, uh, actually a while ago, we are probably a little bit behind, um, but Years behind. yeah, I'm doing what we should be doing, but we got a lot of great things that'll be coming up. We'll be having, um, little workshops. You guys will be able to, um, sign up and attend workshops on um, all types of, uh, topics will be, um, discussing and covering um we'll be taking questions and you know giving you guys answers hey, hey shadeva um so you, you know, know we're excited we're excited um again like my wife said you know i come my parents been yes, married Vincent, 44 we're gonna years. be transparent <laughs> <laughs> my parents been married 44 years and uh you know i'm gonna share some things with you guys uh about that relationship and how it molded me and, and made me into uh, the man that I am today. And, um, and so my parents know, uh, I don't pull any punches. Anybody know me? No, I don't hey, pull Ron. punches. Uh, I tell it straight like it is. I shoot from the hip. Um, Clint Eastwood was one of my favorite Westerners. So, uh, I shoot straight from the hip. I don't hold back. And, um, you know, again, my wife's like, she said her parents been married and divorced, married and divorced, divorced, divorced. And so when we came into this relationship, it was a struggle at first because one of the things that uh, my wife had to understand was I wasn't going anywhere. Uh, and so I, I remember one time in particular, uh, we got into a discussion. Uh, many of you call it an argument, but it was a discussion. It was kind of heated. And I just wanted to go and sit in the car. And man, I, I caught the blues. She hey, like, cousin <laughs> you know, she really was like, hey, what, what, you know, where you think you're going? I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to sit in the car. But because she always seen breakups and she because she always experienced that, you know, it was a real like culture shock to her that, that I wasn't going anywhere. I was just going to sit in the car because I didn't want to dishonor her. I didn't want to disrespect her. You know, I really wanted to just get myself together so that we can come back together. Um, because, it, you know, those that know me, what's going on, Ed? I love hard and I love strong. And so I love this woman. You know, I love this woman with all my heart, soul and body. And so... I didn't want to be in that position. Go ahead, Vince. <laughs> I didn't want to be in that position where I wasn't showing her how much I really loved her. And so, you know, these are the things that we're going to be sharing with you guys on how to handle uh, discord, how to handle uh, arguments and heated discussions. Uh, not only that, but also to how to stand even when things don't look like it's worth standing. Because there were times when, in you know, early on when we got married that, you know, I know, I know she did, you know, uh, I didn't, but I know she thought about giving up, you know what I'm saying? So what do you, what do you do when you want to give up? What do you do when you're facing, um, baby mama drama? That's going to be a big topic we're going to talk about. Cause I, I had a whole lot of baby mama drama. What you going to do with baby daddy drama? 
And so we're going to be talking about these things. We're going to be sharing them with you guys. Uh, you know, I, I got my, I got my auntie, uh, my aunt Ann, she's on here. And, and, you know, like I said, her, family on here. I but in particular, I wanted to just shout out her because it was her husband, James, uh, we call him Uncle Jimbo, who really laid the foundation for me on how to love unconditionally. And so uh, I just want to thank her uh, for allowing him to be a part of my life, you know, and helping, helping molding me. Thank uh, you, to auntie. Be, yes, thank you. Help, me, help, help molding me to be the, uh, the man that I am today. And so we're going to be sharing on these things. We're going to be sharing on uh, uh, finances because that's been a big issue uh, when you come into uh, marriage as a whole, but not only marriage, but as a blended family, uh, especially when you got child support. We're going to talk about all those things. And so, again, also, also, it'll be times where we'll even have um, our children on to even share with you um, some of the things that they had to face because in blended families, it's not just, um, you know, us that's going through things and dealing with things. Um, the children also um, have a lot of things that they have they deal with in blended families. Um, so that'll be, you know, I don't know about up that. and coming. <laughs> It'll be up and coming. We will, we'll, we'll, we'll think no, about no, it. We'll no, think no, about no. it. <laughs> no, no, we, we, we're going to have uh, our children on. Um, All right, Sherry. Exactly. We're going to have them on and, and they're going to be sharing some things that, that they've experienced and how it's helped them along the way. Um, also too, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be sharing also how as a father, the impact that you make, because again, I have three daughters, you know, that's here and my son, he's in Atlanta, and uh, we're just going to be sharing on how to make this thing work long distance as well as here at home. And so we're just excited, uh, again, for this opportunity. Uh, we're not going to be here long tonight, but we just wanted to just give you guys an insight, uh, heads up on what's going to be coming every Tuesday at 730. Uh, you don't want to miss it. Again, we're going to be covering a broad uh, range of topics I mean, this is going to be uh, phenomenal. And tell people, tell people to tune in. Um, you you may not be um, a blended family, but you may have friends or family that are um, blended and need to hear um, our story, need to hear our testimony, um, as well as I'll be even sharing stuff with um, coming in from being a, a single parent going into um, a marriage, you know, a second marriage. And I mean, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of information that we would love to share with you guys and that we're actually going to share with you. Hey, Daryl, um, a lot of information that we will be sharing with you and um, prayerfully it will help you or help someone else. Listen, we, we know it's going to help you because we the things that we've experienced, I mean, the, the stories that we're going to share with you guys are just like unbelievable at times the things that we've gone through as a, as a family and as a blended family and what it has done to not only impact our lives but our family lives uh, we have a lot of family that's on here so they can attest to the fact of the power of God in our marriage and how God is just blessing us taking us uh, just done some awesome things in our lives so we're just hey lady Angela how you doing there we're Hi, just Claire. excited to have you guys on Again, share the word. We're going to be with you guys every Tuesday at 730. Um, we're just going to be talking about the blended family. But just because we're talking, let me say this, just because we're talking about blended families does not mean that these nuggets that we're going to be giving you guys aren't going to be um, usable if you've only been married just one time or this or is your first murder. Married. Even if you're not a blended family, uh, you're going to be able to take some very... Uh, a good tidbits from what we're going to be sharing and really like enhance and grow your marriage. Again, we've been married 19 years. Next month. Uh, next, next, next uh, month. Wait, March 14th. Actually, 28 days away. Uh, March 14th will be our anniversary. Uh, 19 years. Uh, I, I, I still don't know how I stayed with her, but yeah, 19 years. We, <laughs> Whatever. 19 years we, we've been married. And let me say this. We've only dated for three months. Uh, three, four, three, four months. Three or four. About three or four months, we only dated, and here we are 19 years later, uh, just sharing the goodness of God in our marriage and how he's blessed us. Many of you guys see this glow behind us because this thing is worldwide. Uh, we're sharing with the world the goodness of God in our marriage and how 
you can you also as a blended family can take your marriage and bless countless numbers of people. Um, so again, some of the topics we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about baby mama drama. Um, a lot of you guys are dealing with that. We're going to be talking about baby daddy drama. Um, I shared a couple of months ago, even how uh, with my wife's ex-husband, how that's one of my good friends. Um, and people look at that kind of strange, but uh, my, my children to tell you, whenever we have family gatherings, I make it my business to spend 90% of my time with him. And the reason being is because uh, we we have daughters together. You know what I'm saying? Those are his daughters as well as mine. And the awesome thing about it is he looks at me as if I'm their father. And one of the great things that I love about that is even from, I won't say from the start, from day hey, one, brother. but definitely um, I would say within the first couple of months, me and him sat down and we established that type of relationship, even with the girls. And it was so much so that whatever I said, he backed up. And not only that, it was it was point it was to the point where um, I gave him a free reign to come to the house. How many men going to give their wife's ex husband free reign to come to their house? And I literally gave him free reign to come to my house. And it was like I didn't care if he came two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning. Your babies are under my roof, and if you feel the need to see them, then my door is always open to you. And the great thing I love about him is he never disrespected me in that fashion. He never dishonored me as that goes. You know, he always would call, and he never would come at the times that I said he could come. He always came at reasonable times. So we're going to show you guys and, and share with you guys on how to handle uh, situations like that. Uh, what do you do as far as disciplining uh, children that you didn't help birth? We're going to talk about things like that. And so uh, the ups, the downs, the pitfalls, how to navigate those things. And so, again, we, we love you guys. Um, we thank you for coming on with us. And uh, we'll be getting back with you uh, next That's Tuesday good. at 730. Um, so tune in. Tell a neighbor. Tell a friend. They don't want to miss this. This is going to be an awesome uh, impartation as it relates to the blended family. Hey, Daryl, what's going on, sir? Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to be blessed. I tell you, you want to make sure that, especially if you know somebody that's, that has a blended family and they're having struggles and they're just trying to find out how to take that relationship we to the next level. Rolling. We got you rolling. And uh, we, we're going to show you how to take that thing to the next level. Again, Love like you, I said, Nicholas. we've been married uh, 19 years next month, March the 14th. Uh, we've only dated for three, four months. And this has been a, a phenomenal union. God has blessed us tremendously. Uh, the Bible says when you find a wife, you find a good thing. And you obtain favor from God. And I tell you, I thank God for my good thing today. It's Valentine's Day. And I just want to give her a shout out. Um, because she's just added so much favor to my life. She's really just blessed me. Um, being the, the wife that she's been. The encourager, you know. Yeah, and so... Down. Hey, rah, rah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's just been awesome. And so, again, um, we got a lot of family and friends, a lot of people that are popping up. And we're just excited for everybody that's popping up right now because this is going to be something like you've never seen before. Again, this is just an introduction. We just want to share with you guys uh, some of our testimonies, some of the things we've gone through. Uh, my parents been married 44 years. And, um, and again, mine, not so... <laughs> My, it wasn't even 44 years between the two of them being married and divorced three times. <laughs> 44 days. <laughs> it was more than 44 days. Yeah, now, wasn't that my, my parents, 44 years, hers, 44 <laughs> days. So you, so you guys can see who had the real struggle in this relationship. It wasn't me. And so that's probably why I'm doing the most talking because... You know, yeah, she, and, and she, I, prob she, I probably did have the most struggle she because put me through a lot. I, that was many times I wanted to just walk away and quit. Like, oh shoot, this ain't working. <laughs> I got to go. You know, so uh, <laughs> so again, we, we we're excited. You know, we're so happy to be sharing with you guys uh, on how to navigate the blended family. Yes. Again, we know that there's so many people. I mean, just over the last maybe six months. I've talked to so many men, and they, they're struggling with how to deal with their baby mamas. Uh, you know, we're going to be sh sharing with you guys on how uh, 
I paid six hundred dollars a month, and my son wasn't even home. So I mean that. that Whatever should they, but <laughs> <laughs> but that's I, real. <laughs> no, one, one of my daughters just said I wanted to quit too. LOL. And so we're gonna share with you guys. You know that's that's my baby. Um, you know we're gonna share with you guys. We're gonna have her over here sharing with you guys uh, just how you know our struggles, my, the struggles that me and her had together, and just how God has just blessed us, blessed his family. And uh, we tell you, we're just excited. Um, so, again, tune in next Tuesday at 730. Make sure you're telling a neighbor, you're telling a friend. Uh, I don't care if it's a blended family or not. They want to be tuned in because of the nuggets that we're going to share. Uh, it's just going to be so awesome and so impactful that you don't want to miss it. What's going on, Norman? And hey, um, anything you got to say, baby, before we go? Uh, no, uh, uh, that's it. That's basically it. Just um, want everybody to tune in um, weekly. Um, we have a lot of information to share. And like Brandon said earlier, we know that it's going to help you. Um, if you can't use it, give it to somebody else. Have have someone else um, log in and watch us weekly. Again, it will be um, on Tuesdays at 730. If we find that you guys may want to see us more or hear more, just let us know if you have questions, send in any questions. We'll have answers for you. If we can't answer it on the segment that we're on, we'll make sure we try to write your question down and answer it on the next time. So even if it's things that you guys want to know from us, um, we're open, we're transparent, anything that you want to ask us, um, different things that we faced, um, whatever the case may be, we're here to help you, to assist you, um, and then to even just for us to just keep on going on. Yeah, we go. You I know? mean, we, it's a, it's a lot. I mean, you guys, oh, hey, are, you guys are just gonna be so so uh, hey. blessed through what we share with you, um, sharing with you on how to handle temptation. Uh, what what do you do when folks deliberately trying to to, to tear your marriage down? That's why I say. That, I mean, we, we're really gonna be talking about blended families, but it's gonna be much more than just a blended family. You guys are gonna really get. <laughs> Uh, I know. And, uh, <laughs> this is going to be so impactful. So we're going to we're going to sign off at this moment. Uh, we love you guys. We thank you for oh, signing really up with us. I really want to go. I'm so excited about talking to y'all. And I'm normally not a um, uh, what like a talker person. That I mean, you know, just I, I just know that it's time for us to do what God called us to do. So I'm excited. I'm really Let excited. Let me say that if she talked y'all head off like she be talking my head off, yeah, you are gonna get a lot. <laughs> so we love you guys God bless you see you next week bye guys see y'all next week